Generic greetings and welcome back once again to School Simulator where in the previous episode we started another school year, so or, you know, a second really, and we managed to spend a lot of money mainly on flooring and getting some extra stuff put in like the principal's office and vice principal's office, we sort those around there, and overall we're doing alright. There was a little bit of dirt to clean up but thankfully we've managed to stem the tide by hiring some more mops and people that can swing them with anger, and also we got some hall monitors and such. We do need to get some some automatic stuff in like for example we don't oh we actually don't have enough beds in the clinic by the look of it so that's bad let's sort that out uh, yeah we need to put uh, like the pool in and uh, get some like more automatic stuff in like patrols for the workers and such but we'll see how we get on over to the clinic then and we're going to crack on with building some more beds in here and for some reason the rotor tool is not working out properly there we go uh, rotor one two three four and then five so we're just doubling the capacity here we probably also want to hire another member of staff to work in there so we're going to go ahead and get another nurse which is two grand but I think it is reasonable to get that. In terms of what to do list we have set them straight which is to get a counsellor so hopefully we'll uh, get that sorted anyway just max speeding out while they go ahead and crack on there. Sadly we have yeah there we go enough students going down to be treated there as well so hopefully that's enough in terms of the signing but we'll have to see we can see that we have some people going to the vice principal there to be told off we do have several rude students and delinquents if we check out our report and go to our delinquency we can see we have five bullies and five smokers so 10 delinquents out of a total of 96 students so I guess that's not a bad ratio, it's just, you know, not ideal either. We do want to, as I said, put the swimming pool back in, but that's a futurals problem. I think we want to focus on getting the counselling thing first. Now, we are researching that. Oh, sorry, it was researched. Have a quick look. And vice principal, it is counselling. Let me check. Oh, what does it say? It is research counselling. Okay, so let's go ahead and check that out. So, Stephanie facilities, no, I think it's up here. And counselling, which is six grand there. So, not enough to get it today, but I can probably go ahead and uh, think about where it's going to go. We'll need to check the locked bit first. What's it going to be classed as? Services. Clinic and school bus. Special rooms. Hmm. Wouldn't be an admin. Not nutrition. And I don't know where it would be then. Would it just be an office? It might just be an office. But I'm really not too sure. It's quite cool for when you've got this tab open because you see all the rooms have different colours there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure whether or not we just need a standard office. Hmm. Yeah, build an office and assign it, assign it to a counsellor. So a standard office can go wherever it needs to, but realistically we're just going to put it in and around here because we don't have any room there. So a smoker is being caught, but my concern is if we add an office in, can we put it around here? We probably can, but there's no point in having it like that size because it's far too large. Office ideally is like a 5x5, five five, I think. Well, those offices are 5x5. Five five. We'll probably alter that, but let's go over to wall outline. We're going to go across there. That is 5 to there, so we'll uh, just erase that section there and then go to wall and then run that down and then split that up like so. So one of the offices is going to be slightly larger than the other one. Actually, no, it's not. It's going to be a different size entirely, isn't it? Is that the right size? Let me double check zones and then office. Office suggested size is 5x5, five five, so we don't need it. Hmm, it could be, yes, we could have it realistically. Different size. My concern is if we have it a different size, we might not be able to fit everything we need in. Otherwise, we're going to have to do that. Which means this is going to step in like that to become a corridor of three, and we just don't want that. So the other option then is to have it go across here, and the offices will go there and there, and then we don't really need that one anywhere. But then, as you can see, we've got this huge gap. So what are we going to do with that? Hmm. There's no reason we can we can't shift it though. It doesn't have to be next to the clinic, does it? 
Where would it go then? We're going to put it there. Guess we could put it up here. Have the officers around here. Or on this side here, because originally we are going to put something around there. So, wall. One, two, three, four, five. So we could do that. There's two of those. And I raise that. Doesn't really fit in with the overall design, though. Like, why have it around there? I mean, I guess why not? Hmm. See, see, I'd like it around there. The only other option, then, is to build it and have that as an end. So, probably something like if that was a corridor of two there. One office, two office, three counselling officers. I don't know if we need three, but we could do something like that. It's actually not too bad. And this here, anyway, I was going to have like have a staff toilet and canteen around there. So that actually works. So we'll do that. That's better than the bit up there. I, I'd much prefer that, actually. So, I don't know if we need three, but I'm going to plan three off like that. So, what we'll do... Go to a building, walls, and I'm going to build up and across, and then I might as well build them. I was going to leave it, but we'll put it in, and ooh, low funds. <laughs> Just putting those walls in has cost us a lot of money anyway. We'll see how we get on there. So, six period, seven period now. Let's still check a schedule, actually. We have an old recess or lunch. Yeah, everyone's assigned, so that's fine. And delinquency is, yeah, the same. Sanitation, decent though, much better than previously. Dirt's right down, litter's down, trash bags, not so much, but trash bags, to be fair, around the outside there. So that's all fine, too. So we need a door there. Doors on them. Flooring. And yeah, that should be it. But we don't have the research, and it's going to require... It's going to require f six grand. Oh, and those are broke. I wonder if... They're automatically repaired if someone goes past them. If they're on a patrol route. I'm pretty sure that that is the case. But, I mean setting up patrols. It's obviously warning us the funds are running low, but we're going to get some money there anyway. So, that's fine. That's fine. In terms of research, we need counselling for six grand. But... Is there anything we can do in the meantime? Mm, probably just continue on building this. I'd say. I'd like an AV room as well. Very much would like an AV room. And to put the swim pool back in. But that's going to cost three grand on its own. So, over to objects. And I think if I build this, we'll have to then floor it. Putting the flooring in. Might cause some issues, but I'll ch change it staff only, so it might be all right. Anyway, smoker is being caught. At least they're being caught, and they're being taken to the uh, the vice principal's office, who is now taking over the duties of the principal when it comes to telling off students and whatnot and disciplining them. Let's go ahead and got build down to doors and to the standard door, which we'll place in one, two. Three will then place a double door in like so because eventually we are going to remove that bit there and I want to make sure that we have enough money to finish off whatever we do see that's now gone indoors you can see it changed uh, change like the tone it goes a bit darker there yeah I want to make sure that we have enough money to be able to get that research tomorrow I wonder if there's anything you really you could add in the field obviously we've got the field there that's the running track but only certain students use that. I don't know what students. 
Let's have a quick look. Objects. Running track. Sophomore students. Okay. Fine. Where is the pool? The pool is used by... Who's the pool used by? I think it's junior only. Does say... Uh, it's like a little ocean inside a school used for PE by junior students. See, ideally you want to place it about... I want to place it with a gap all the way around the outside. So the field on the right there will have to be shrunk down. Not that that's a problem, really. I don't think that's a massive problem. It just means shifting some stuff around. But having the, ew, having the walkway all around, around the outside will help. It's going to be two grand though, so we can't afford that. Let's repair that sink. Just having a quick pass to see if there's anything that needs repairing. You can see the faculty lounge. People are there, say, enjoying coffee, resting, going to get coffee, enjoying coffee. People are just enjoying some beverages. What were they saying they didn't have there? They are saying they didn't have something. And they're resting. They're playing lipstick. I think they are. <laughs> oh, smoke's been caught. Is it in the toilets again? Yeah, I think it's always in there. That's where they go. And the monitors just seem to hang around and go in there by default anyway. Which makes perfect sense, I guess. Makes absolutely perfect sense. So the field... The field we will be shrinking down to there. Which means the door will go there and... Well, it'll be there and there this time. Well, there, but it won't place because of the wall. And it'll be shrunk right down. Not that it's too much of a problem. With the smoker being caught there. I wonder if that's impacting the reports. Yes, bullies have gone down to three. Excellent. And when, when we get the counsellor in, that should hopefully affect that too. But I think the game does start to introduce more problems as it progresses on. There's some a lot of dirt there as well. I said uh, 20 odd dirt, but it looks like the janitors are going ahead and cleaning that up. You tend to get it obviously spread around as soon as we go from one period to another, especially when they're walking quite a lot through here. So, yeah. Just as long as people don't start to leave en masse, that would be very, very bad indeed. Anyway. So, that's fine. That needs to be placed, but this will move along. The swim pool will go in there. The rest can go in. We'll shift this along and build in there but main thing is get that research done and get the office in over there let's actually go over to zones and to the office and we'll place that office in there admin table final cabinet and fax so objects where is it office and these will be rotated around actually Hmm, if I get that, I wouldn't be able to get the research done, so I'm not going to put an admin table in just yet. Not just yet, anyway. It looks like it's dismissal, but people are actually getting food before they go. Seems fine. I think everybody is fed. I'm just going to double check. Uh, actually, I'll double check in the reports, because we can see that. Kitchen. No, we can't. Daily usage is 16. Cafeteria. 145. Well, it doesn't say. One, one, uh, there we go. All right. Unhappy. I wasn't able to get food. Sh school should be more fun and I'm so tired. Right. So, the rest of it's okay though. So, there's there's only one able, not able to get food. So, we know that, realistically, there's enough. What? What's happened over there? <laughs> um, for some reason to put the thing on the right hand side yeah realistically then we have a big enough kitchen and enough staff members and all that sort of thing that is fine what we don't have is any like fun things so we need an AV room ideally ideally an AV room and then what else well an AV room would be very good I don't know if it's necessary I don't know if I have any grants for it as well. Linking up, student, transportation. Discovering history is build an AV room. Right. We've already got it researched. 
so it shouldn't be too much of a problem to build it. But again, we're just always fighting the money. But we'll get our payment today, as soon as it hits... There we go. And then we'll go for counselling, which is a bit of money, <laughs> admittedly. But by the end of today, we should be able to get that office built. No, by tomorrow we'll get that sorted. Okay, that's fine. be nice if there was a bit... Uh, all the ways of making cash, but I just don't think there is. Ah, sorry, there is, actually. There is. The only way to make cash is this, like, sell to the grid and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know, having a water pump and a wind turbine would be quite good. But there we are. Looks like they're running on that. And, obviously, a lot more students this time because, well, we have more students. Quite a lot more, in fact. Went from 60 up to 96, so pretty good. We've got a couple that are... Red there, you see there's red and green. Red being the delinquents, green being ill. And I think you you, you can be both. Uh, it just only shows one colour though. In terms of our degrees, we've got six students in the first yeah degree. One teacher for each one. And root student. There we go. So the safety's good. Health's good. Discipline is going up. Still so very safe, clean, excited, well rested, comfortable, and well fed. So motivation is good. Bully overbearing and popular. And watch their discipline just jump right up here. There you go. Scolded one times, minus five motivation, but the discipline goes right up. So hopefully that will alter those traits eventually. Eventually. Once we finish counselling, we'll need to then hire people. What's that? Hypnotherapy. You can train counsellors in hypnosis to speed up therapy. Decrease therapy time by 20% and delinquent labour. <laughs> Show your students some tough love. Delinquents can now be assigned to clean cafeterias and toilets. Fair enough. Some of the other stuff. Dishwashing mastery. That's faster. Dishwasher. We don't really care about that. Um, outlet store and then water rationing. So getting these two would be really good because that's 20% Reduced water cost and electricity cost. Very, very good indeed. However, it costs nine grand just to get the outlet store, and then seven grand for the rationing. So, I mean, you're talking 16 grand just to get one of them. 22. No. Uh, yeah, 16 to get one of them, and then more for the other one. So, yeah. Faster janitors. Move by 50% increase. That's good. Janitors on routes will be able to see dirty things more easily. Plus one tile to janitor range. That will be very good, but again, it's going to be three, uh, four, five. Seven. Hmm. I don't know if we want to do routing. Do I really want to set up a route? Logistics, janitor routing. Let's do a bit of a test. And then... Assign one person to that. Let's see if that works. I mean, it'll work. I understand that there will go through that route, but I'm just going to keep an eye on them. So now this should be, this should get very dirty very quickly. Where is the janitor? Ah, they're actually cleaning as they come along. And you can see the size of their, uh, the radius. See, the following their assigned route. Ah, but the problem being, oh no, they are seeing it, that's fine. They're trying to do that, but then when there's a bit of dirt... Where are they going to now? They're going there. Ah, oh, because they saw it through the wall. And then the cleaning on the way back. Well, that... That's good. But let's be honest with each other. It's not... I don't think it's at this stage. I don't know if, I don't know if it's necessary. And also, if they're going over there, I would put forward that they're not entirely following the route very well. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's one of those things like technically they are, but at the same time. But they are cleaning and are around here, which is exactly what we wanted. That's good. So I don't think this place will end up very dirty at all, because it's constantly getting cleaned. The same thing, we could add a route in... Well, we certainly want the toilets cleaned. So that corner. That corner. There, there, there. And there, there, and then that one. Do you want to sign another? Just, just to clean the toilets. 
It's not unreasonable. And then this obviously is a heavily trafficked area too. Have they used patrol around here? Do that. Now the cafeteria isn't patrolled, but the rest should be. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Checking the reports now. Loads of dirt everywhere. Brilliant. Right. Well, has that just made it worse? I was going to say why they're not cleaning, but that's because that's the monitor there. Yeah, I genuinely think it just makes it worse. Hmm. I will... Because the, the, if this is all clean, they're still going to go there, you see. I'm going to delete the routes. I know we've just done them, but I'm deleting the routes. Let them make up their own minds on where they need to do. Look, on this micromanaging cleaning job stuff. Okay, so we'll repair that. We'll repair that. At least order the repair. We then have enough money to hopefully get a counsellor, which is four grand. There we go. And they then will have an office, but only, wanna, only once I build it, because at the moment, I cannot afford it. Hmm. I'm trying to think, there's something we can sell just to get that. There. A rude student, yes. Because to build the office... Objects. Office. We need a bit more money. That can go in there. Fax can go in there. And then the admin table needs to go in there. And then they'll have a proper office. Right, what I'm going to do... One... <laughs> and... No, I don't want to fire staff. I'm just trying to sell some stuff. Sell that. Sell that. Repair that. And pair that. Smoker has been caught. Good. Think there's anything else we can sell off to get the right amount of money? Because we need a little bit more, and then the office is complete, and then we get the grant, which means we can finish off the, the other stuff. We will sell that bed. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought the game would have turned into one. Selling simulator and micromanaging side of it. Come on, build that. That's been sold. Now we have enough. Put that admin table in. Then their office becomes legitimate, and then we get the grant for the counselling. And there you go, done. And that was our money back, which means now we can put the stuff that we removed back in. <laughs> so, oh, music rooms there as well. That's pretty cool. So, we want to go for the staff lounge. We want to put the sofa back in there. Sofa back in there. We actually, while we're here, want to expand on them as well. And then it was the beds in here. So, that would be... Where is it? Is it clinic? Yes, clinic. And then it's the bed. And finally, that there. So, to-do list, linking up, student transportation, discovering history, AV room, we're going to apply for that one there. And we want to then put the flooring in and around here. So we'll say building, floors, concrete, concrete goes to there, and wood can go in there, and then we will demolish that there. Okay, that should be fine. That door will set the staff only. That door will set the staff only, because we don't want any students in there. Actually, you know what? I think I'll just place the flooring in while we're here. And I'll also have to place the flooring in across that section too. Concrete. But then that's the councillors hopefully working. I don't know if I have to assign people to it though, because I've never built one. Edit zone. No students currently receiving counselling. Okay. That's fine, I guess. I guess. Um, ports. Delinquency. Ah, there you go. Salary cost for the councillor, 444 per day. And... 
How do we assign counseling? We can assign counseling if we need to. How do we assign counseling though? Expensive but also the most effective. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, but, quite frankly, do we need to have it at the moment? Probably not. Did it for grant purposes, but I don't know whether we need it or not. Like, run, running counselling sessions, I mean. Anyway, AV room. Let's think about that. So, my plan was to have an AV room up here. Because I want... The next thing, classroom-wise, will be on this side. It'll be basically a clone of those on this side. In between the library and common areas. So, probably expand up here for them is fine. So, we're going to go to zones and AV room. And it says, recommend size 11 by 5. Teacher table, 10 chairs, cabinet, TV, and indoors. That is what is required with suggested size of 11 by 5. So let's go ahead and check that. So ruler, I mean, we could have it. Hmm. 11 by 5. We could have something like that. 11 by 8. But whatever, again, whatever it recommends, we probably want to make it bigger. 14 up to there is realistic, I think. What sort of size is this one? That's 10 by 17. Don't know why 17 of all things, but... I think we'll have it 8 by 15. Let's do something like that. So walls, it'll be 16. And I'm just going to double check to make sure that that is all correct. We'll go for ruler and 8 by 15, yes. So building and then build around. That should be fine. In terms of the counselling though, they're just doing paperwork. 444 per day and we want, really want to pay that bank loan back as well. With only four delinquent students, I'm tempted to... I'm very tempted just to not bother with the counselling. I'm also... Is that three counselling there? Let's put them in detention. Select delinquency group. Hmm. Hmm. See, that's three in counselling if we don't do detention. I think for smokers... No. Bully, though. Yes. So one for counselling. So let's see if that session gets ran. It should... And I, but I'm wondering, I don't know when it runs. I'm actually unsure as to when it runs. Let's check in schedule. Detention is there. I'm guessing, is that when it's run? Dismissal. But there's detention being run. Doing paperwork. Oh yes, there we go. So we have got counselling. There is counselling. Notice the detail on the computer as well. You've got a tower, mouse, keyboard, monitor. That's a big back CRT as well. You've also got a couple of pens on there. Nameplate, books, Apple, a little beverage mug. Yeah. So, counselling. So. That's alright. That's good. Okay. AV room up there then. And then there's this thing here. So, AV room. Build. Walls, stone wall. Probably going to bankrupt us again. And yeah, don't have enough money for that until tomorrow. Not a big problem though. And that that door there, I think, is pretty good. That's on day five actually as well. So we're actually really blasted through this. I, I didn't expect that. Obviously, some extra challenges, but overall, quite happy there.
So, I think we are going to leave it there for this episode. A bit of a short one, but needs must. Um, we are on to just going over to day six. Overall, checking out reports. We can see that we've got three smokers and two bullies. That's halved because we had ten delinquent students. You can see counsellors have been assigned there to uh, Celia. And sanitation, we've got a very clean place. Only a little bit of dirt and the odd uh, litter now and again. In terms of food, I think that's all fine. Satisfaction, skills should be more fun, which is more well. We're doing an AV room and stuff, and I don't know what else we can help. So there's never enough food, apparently. One dropped out, I didn't catch that. And there's three tired because they're walking to school. So we might have to put on the school bus eventually. Overall, though, I think feels like we're doing not too bad so we'll see what happens next episode and we'll at minimum get the av room done i also want to get the av room done and then the and get the not the field up get the swimming pool built rebuilt as well because well i think that would be quite good and just you know put some of the stuff in that we removed like the water fountains oh we've got enough we got enough. Actually, do we have any water fountains? The only water fountains we have are actually out there, so... Yeah, I don't know what effect they have, but we'll see. Anyway, either way, I hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.